Howdy folks, I have some more goodies from Runcam here. This is the Micro Swift 2 and the TX25 transmitter. These two together will make a really nice little lightweight uh, FPV backpack uh, which will work on little planes, little quads and stuff like that so this will be fun. So the Micro Swift 2 uh, can be powered from 5 to 36 volts, that's a nice big wide range. Infrared block 2.1mm lens, that's my favourite lens size. And the little transmitter, uh, TX25 powered from 3.5 to 5.5 volts, so 1S battery basically. 5.8 GHz, 48 channel, uh, 25 milliwatt. Nice little close range transmitter. Good for indoors and um, sort of close in flying. So we have here the PAL version of the Micro Swift 2. Let's have a look in the box. Here's the OSD changer, setup cable, a mount, connection cable, and a little camera. Tiny little fella. About as small as it could possibly be, I think. Connections we have here are OSD ground VBAT plus video ground 5 to 36 volts. There's the mount and all the little bolts. The OSD setup cable and the FPV connection cable. So I'm guessing that will be uh, for voltage telemetry. Let's plug it in. goes this way. Plugs in nice and snugly. Plug the OSD cable in. Now that's not going to fit into anything of mine, so I'm going to have to clip these off and turn it into a normal servo connection. A little bit of an instruction manual here. So you can set a low voltage alarm to warn you when the uh, supply voltage is dropping below a certain value. You have different uh, scenes you can select for the colour of the video, colour and contrast, personal, which you'd be able to set up yourself, light, racks, outdoor, indoor, cloudy, twilight. And you can change the position of all the different uh, items that appear on the screen. Now here is the little Runcam TX25 transmitter, 25 milliwatt transmitter. Input voltage 3.5 to 5.5 volts. Little instruction manual 3.5 to 5.5 volts in, 4.5 volts out. Now that's interesting, that's not enough to run the Micro Swift 2 camera. But these two are designed to go together. Alright, let's have a look anyway. Tiny little transmitter, minimal. And we have power in from 1S battery or from your receiver even. Video in and power out, but uh, we can't use that power out to run the Micro Swift 2. So as you can see, these two are designed to go together. They even provide some little bolts and standoffs and things to achieve that. So they are meant to fit together power in for the transmitter there and it provides power out but there's no point just connecting these two wires and expecting it to work you need to power them separately it would make a lot more sense to me if the transmitter could output enough voltage to run the camera then you would only have one power connection I guess to make a uh, I guess to have a, a transmitter this small you need it to, to be low power and you need the camera to be able to be run from the flight battery so yeah I suppose that makes sense alright so we need to have separate power inputs but we can connect the video and ground together and the blue wire uh, taking off the flight battery somehow so I'll mount them up together just need a really fine screwdriver to undo these screws in the back of the camera pop the stand off in That's good. Alright, so now we can pop this little fella in. 
So there we have the neat little backpack. Just have to work out how to power it up. Here's what I've come up with for the wiring to suit my purposes. Uh, first of all, to power the transmitter, I'm going to plug it into uh, a receiver or ESC to provide the 5 volts. For the camera, it's going to be powered off the flight battery and I also have the blue wire connected to the, to the red wire coming from the flight battery so that I'll get voltage telemetry on the camera. Uh, so I have video from the video and ground coming from the camera going back into the transmitter and the grounds are all connected. Seems a bit fiddly having it like this but I kind of understand why they do it that way. The camera you want to be able to be powered from any uh, voltage source, any flight battery but the transmitter is probably too small to, to handle the higher voltages so that's limited to uh, 3.5 to 5, 5.5 volts or whatever. Let's have a look at the components. We, so we have a flight battery. I can fire up the camera with the flight battery. We have an ESC which will provide 5 volts via the inbuilt BEC. So I'll connect that up to the transmitter. Bingo! There we have signal. And it's reading 11.4 volts on the battery. Uh, obviously have to recharge that battery. Run cam and giving me the time as well. Alright, so let's uh, have a closer look at the menu structure. So I'll plug the on-screen display selector into the camera. It's giving us a very nice image. Uh, it's stretched out to 16.9 on this monitor. That would be 4.3 in a 4.3 monitor, of course. It would be a 4.3 image. Alright, so when you first turn the camera on, you get run cam, tells you which colour setting it's on, which TV system, and run cam and voltage and time. Now when you push the centre button, we get exposure, and you can choose, make sure your wide dynamic range is on. Very cool, backlight, white balance, day night, image adjust. Uh, good choices there. Language reset, exit, that's all cool. Now, if you hold the button up, then you can change the text that appears in the screen all the time. You can clear it, obviously. Uh, you can set your voltage alarm there. Uh, say 11.1 volts, it'll flash on the screen. Choose a different scene, twilight, cloudy, indoor, personal, light racks. What's that? Outdoor, 11 on outdoor, I think. Change the position of the names, the timer, the voltage, and all that sort of stuff. Stuff. Turn the horizon on and off. That's very cool. I won't mess with any of that stuff. Now, if you hold the centre stick down, nothing happens. hold it to the left, then you can calibrate the voltage here uh, to be exactly what you measured to make it a bit more accurate. Hold it to the right for a couple of seconds you can change the image presets, that's pretty cool. Camera is getting a little bit warm in my hand, not too bad actually, nothing to worry about. Well you might be able to hear the weather is absolutely shocking at the moment so uh, I'm not going to get a chance to take it out for a fly in the near future but this is a very interesting little camera, great little camera. Uh, great quality and a little backpack transmitter which uh, works well enough I guess. Uh, it's a bit odd having the different uh, voltage inputs and not passing through so the transmitter can't run the camera. Voltage is required for each are different so uh, as long as you come to grips with that and make up your own uh, power supply solutions it's a good little system. Thanks very much to RunCam for providing the Micro Swift 2 camera and the TX25 transmitter. Uh, good fun to play with and in a week or so I'll pop it on a plane and show you some FPV footage. Thanks for watching.